So, Onward, what are you doing? Just a couple of questions, because I was playing Onward recently and noticed that all of a sudden my graphics died. Imagine my shock when it turns out that they've just updated the game and made it look like shit. Don't know why they did it. They just appear to have decided to. So yes, any of you who've been playing Onward, uh, I think it's like the past week, they've updated the graphics and made it run like complete dog shit. It seems like an interesting choice as well. This game has been out for a long time and gained a lot of decent people who play it all the time. I think there's like 30 servers active at any one time, which considering how old it is and comparing it to Pavlov, whose servers have been dead for about, I don't know, a year. It just seems like a weird change to make now when the game's been running fine, as far as I can tell. They updated the game, they added two LMGs to it, and removed all of the graphics from it. They've decided to make it garbage, sure, that makes sense. You'd assume they were doing that because of runtime, like being able to actually process the game properly and not lag. Unfortunately, it's gotten worse in that regard too. I haven't played much of this new update on Onward. I just kind of saw it, saw all the comments on Steam and went, yep, this is something I have to address. But as far as everybody else goes, they reckon that the game runs terribly. When I used to stream VR, it used to eat all of my RAM. So it used to take up a lot of stuff. So it already didn't run great, but that was when I was streaming. So it's kind of, eh. Now it appears that everything is completely running shit without actually needing to do anything else like open OBS, which I can only assume now just blows up the computer. Look, it's night time and I have a crab, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know what the plan is. I'm gonna put the crab here, by the way. There. Creb. I can't remember what those things are called, but I've made those now. So that's nice. Everything's going to be all decorative and a lot of these things are new. The main thing I'm waiting on now is a pinky figurine, which if any of you have been watching the recent streams, you've know I've been playing a lot of Doom. So hopefully that's going to be interesting. But enough about my accessorizing. Back to the fact that Onward is now garbage again. I think Onward's been around since 2016. I might have read that wrong though. I should probably have double checked all this before I started, but I'm sure I'll fix it in post. But either way, the game's been around for a long time. And unfortunately, it's gained a bit of a reputation. If you look in the Steam review, Reviews. They're mixed and it's because uh, everybody who plays it is seven, which is just unfortunately how it works. A lot of people weren't happy with the quest integration, which they fail to have realized is what's keeping the game alive right now. But what made everybody upset is because all the children have quests because they can't afford an actual proper PC. Don't really know what went wrong, but VR chat's a mess. So we can just write that off the list. Just pop that straight in the bin. OBS, for those of you who don't know, is one of the most popular tactical shooters on VR. I don't really know why it is because there's three, I, I count breaches as a four, Fourth one, but no one else really knows what Breaches is. So there's three main VR shooters, the most popular ones anyway. There's Pavlov, which is basically CSGO in VR, if you're unfamiliar with that, and that became really popular because I believe it was the first one, possibly, or a bunch of streamers who played CSGO at the time, because I think when Pavlov released, everyone was into CSGO still, so it became really famous for that, but has unfortunately dropped off the face of the earth because no one's updated it in years. It's kind of like a TF2 situation. They just kind of stopped updating it, which is a shame. The Quest 2 version gets updates though, so I don't really know what's going on with them. Another one is Contractors. Contractors is rather similar to Onward. It's, it's taken very seriously, unlike Pavlo, which is just a complete mess. Now, Contractors surged ahead of Onward quite early on in its development because everybody started modding it. Like, there's TF2 in VR, there's Black Ops Zombies in VR, there's a bunch of different game modes for VR, and it's awesome. Onward, as far as I can tell, doesn't even have mod support, at least not as far as I know. So what a lot of people believe is happening is that Onward is focusing entirely on its Quest 2 player base. So it would appear that because their entire player base is almost exclusively Quest, they've ditched the Steam VR port. Now, normally I would be all for that because the index players can die. If you're buying an index, you probably need to invest in stocks, beansy stocks particularly. That guy, that he's good stocks. We lost like $3,000. I haven't checked the Quest 2 store yet, so I don't know if they're also suffering from this, but from what I can tell, the Quest 2 players are fine, so if you're playing this in the Quest, you shouldn't notice a difference, which is the majority of people. But unfortunately, if you are very into Onward on the Steam VR, you may have a little bit of an issue until they decide to fix this. Now, everybody's tried contacting the developers of Onward so far. The update's relatively new, and I don't think anybody's got any actual feedback yet, so they don't know if they're going to revert it. But from what it looks like right now, we are basically stuck with an inferior version of Onward until they decide to fix it, which might be literally never, depending on what mood they're in. Now, I personally don't feel that strongly about Onward because it is probably my least favorite of all the military sims. So though I'm not very bothered, I do know a lot of people who take the game quite seriously, so it is unfortunate that they've just kind of ditched their community and just hard focused on a different community. If I get any updates before I finish the thing, I'll probably just put like a little exclaimer 
uh, just after this or maybe at the start of the video allowing everyone to know that the update has changed or maybe they've reverted it or just that some of the details I've come up with are just obsolete but as far as I can tell they don't seem to really have any interest in fixing this at least not yet so hey while you're waiting for Onward to not be shit why not check out Breaches because Breaches is simply better and I'm pretty sure they're the same price like everywhere just get Bre Breaches is just better I very much enjoy Breaches maybe I'm biased oh no so in conclusion uninstall Onward it's very garbage I mean it was okay until like five days ago but now, now it's garbage again I shall end the video by reading a random fact about tractors this is the most boring book I've ever fucking read did you know that tractors sometimes attach themselves to other tractors to make tractor things happen? I don't really know what I'm reading I think this might be in French Nope, it's German. I'm not reading that.